Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Sam Gregory and this is the second in a series of videos about setting up and using the amazing new Canon Pro 300 printer. Now in the first video I went through the unboxing, uh, what came with the outfit and the basics of how to download your drivers and download the Canon professional print and layout software. And so hopefully you've watched that one and you're now ready for us to actually get on and make a print. Now, in the famous, here's one I made earlier, uh, I'm gonna walk you through how to just do a simple print using the software that comes with the printer, the paper that comes with the printer for free, because you get a sample pack here, which is the Pro Platinum paper. And we're not gonna have any special profiles or anything like that. We're just gonna use the profile and the driver that came with the printer. And I'm gonna show you how you can make a really, really great print uh, just with this very simple setup before you get into any extra work to do with profiling. So without any further ado, let's jump into the computer and we'll get printing. Okay, everyone. So I've opened up Lightroom because like a lot of people, that's where I do uh, the vast majority of my editing and cataloging and storing. Um, however, also like a lot of people, I do find the Lightroom print module can be a little bit fiddly. Now, yes, okay, with experience it's fine, but it's something I have to help people with a lot because they do struggle with that. So I'm gonna put it to you that this Canon professional print and layout software is actually 90% of the time uh, gonna be a much simpler way just to print a single image. So how do we get there? Well, if you follow the steps in video one, you will have downloaded that software. It won't, you won't see it anywhere unless you've found it and dug it out and dragged it onto your desktop. But what you can do from Lightroom is simply go to File and then plug in Extras, and it should be here, Canon Professional Print and Layout. Now, if you've been watching this and downloading it and had your Lightroom open, you might find you need to shut your Lightroom down and maybe even restart your computer, but it shouldn't come to that you should find it here in the plugin extras. And obviously, as you can see, we've got this file selected, as you can see in the uh, develop module. So if we just click this Canon professional print and layout, it just takes a moment or two. And what that will do is open it up in here. Now, what we have is our image down here, and I'm gonna just drag that into this. And you're gonna think at first, Ah, crikey, what's going on? And it might depend on if you've had any previous settings. But what I'm gonna show you is something really cool. So you can just very simply drag this in, okay? And it's automatically keeping it in the center. And or you can just choose in your sizes down here how large you would like it to be. So for example, if I just make that 280 centimeters, it resizes it for me, which is really cool. Now, why it's doing that is because here in the layout section, I have the alignment set to center. And if you just keep it set to center, you're not gonna have any of those problems that you might have with Lightroom with it being really fiddly about getting a longer uh, border edge at one side or the other side or up, down. A lot of people do find that a bit of a pain in Lightroom. So my tip here is use the Canon professional print and layout software. Make sure your alignment, if you want it printed like that, is on center. And then just simply change the size to how you want it. Obviously you might want it smaller, larger, obviously depends where it's gonna end up. But what's cool about it is as you put that size in, if you know that the long edge you need at 280, because it's going in a mount or a frame, then you just put 280, hit tab, and everything else corrects for you. It might be obviously that you know the height instead and you know it needs to be 265 height instead. And you just do that and it will correct the width for you. Now what's important is that you keep this maintain slot aspect ratio uh, ticked in there as well. Okay, now we have the image in from Lightroom, but I did say I would show you how to do it in Photoshop as well. So if you simply, uh, I'm just clicking out a screen here to get the Photoshop uh, program open. Uh, if you're used to finishing your images or even editing your images in Photoshop, it's quite neat to know how to get to the Canon print and layout from there. So all you do is you go to uh, File, Automate, and you click Canon Professional Print and Layout. And that would get you to exactly where we just were in the Canon Professional Print and Layout software. But let's just jump back into that 
and take a look at printing this image. So before we print, we need to make sure we have the correct paper choice selected. And you do that here in the general settings. And so what you wanna look at is just choosing the correct type of paper. Now in this instance, I am using the Canon Pro Platinum sample paper that came with it. And so if you go to do that, if you bought the printer, if you go to photo papers, photo paper Pro Platinum, that's where it is. Now I'm gonna do a separate video about how you might use your photo speed paper or a custom type of paper, for example, and we'll do a separate video about that. But for today, we're just gonna test the Canon photo paper and just to make our first print with this new printer and check it out. Now, you can have borderless printing and you can change the sizes at A3, A4, A5, and all these other things. I'm just gonna print on A4 because that's what comes with the sample pack. And the paper source is gonna be the top feed. Now, I'll just show you the top feed is this main one here. There is also a feed behind, which is the manual feed tray. And I'll just open that up. Now in theory, you should be using the manual feed tray for any thicker paper. In practice, what I've found having done a few little tests now, is that even for paper at 300 or so uh, thickness, you can use the top feed as long as you're only using single pages, i.e. don't load 10 sheets of paper in there. Print quality, I'm gonna do highest because I wanna see what it can do. I would imagine that's always gonna use a little bit more ink though, so that might be worth bearing in mind. If you're just doing some proofing of some images, obviously just use it at the standard quality. But if you're supplying a customer or print for your wall or something nice like that, then make sure you have print quality highest. And then we're down to our sizes here. As I say, keep your alignment at center if that's where you want it to be. And then you can uh, make these size adjustments as I did earlier. Okay, so just down here next below the color management section, we have a couple of interesting bits. You can click to show the crop marks, which might be useful if you're passing it on to someone to frame. Uh, it's not something I've ever done, but I can imagine there might be a scenario where you need that. Or you have this print the margins in black which is pretty cool as well, and that might look quite nice in a frame. However, that's gonna eat a whole load of black ink, and it's not something that I need to do for this test print. Now, when we get into the color management section, this can get more complicated, but I'm gonna try and keep it really simple just for the purposes of today. All I'm gonna do is just click the Use ICC Profile, and the Printer Profile I'm gonna choose is the um, Pro Platinum printer profile, which is just down here. So what I'm saying is I want the printer just to select the profile for this type of paper. Uh, it's not a custom profile, it's the standard profile for this printer for this paper. But I, I know that's gonna do a pretty good job because Canon have obviously already preloaded those. Now there are little things here you can do towards, to do with, excuse me, adding text. Uh, you can print the header, you can see it just comes up here. Uh, but that's obviously not something you're gonna wanna do normally. Now, just before we press print, I should point out that at the very top here, what you want is to make sure you have your Pro 300 found. Mine is connected via USB, and thus it's saying it here. There are options to use multiple images. You can see what it would do to that. I'm just gonna put it back in single image mode. And there's gallery wrap, which allows you to do more customization as well. But today I just wanna focus on helping you guys just make your first print. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just get my Pro Platinum paper here ready, and you'll see I give it a little knock. That's just to get any dust spots or anything like that off. With the glossy type, just be really careful not to get any fingerprints on it. And if you've got a little rocket blower like this, I would just give it a little blow as well. Now we're just gonna slide it in here. This is already set, the guides are set to A4 because of our calibration print earlier, which we did in video number one. And just before we get to printing this, I'm just gonna show you one extra thing here on the software. If you do click the soft proofing, that gives you a, a simulation of what it's gonna look like on the paper based on the settings you have over here on the right hand side. And you can see that there's gonna be a very slight change. What I would say is these soft proofing simulations aren't always totally accurate. And you can also do soft proofing in Lightroom, which is a bit better because you can see the highlights and if there's any color gamut issues as well. But for now, we're gonna just try printing this out. Uh, we've got everything set up. We've got our printer profile ready for the paper and I'm just gonna hit print. 
Now what's neat, it tells you before you go, hey, are you sure this is right? <laughs> Which is good because it tells you everything you've set up and uh, you can of course switch that off so it doesn't do it in the future. But there are times where you might have just been printing an A3 and then you go to print this and you wanted A4, so it's nice, it's just a little fail safe. But I'm happy with everything there, so I'm just gonna click OK. And off we go. And there we go, we have our print. Now a couple of things to say. Um, it's really difficult to show you guys uh, through the video, uh, especially the detail. But the reason I chose this image was there is a lot of shadow down here, but there is still detail in there. And there is a lot of highlights here, but there's also detail too. Now, you just are gonna have to take my word for it a little bit, but even without any uh, extra custom profiles or anything like that, this is extremely well matched to the image on the screen. And I'm super, super impressed with that. Now I'm gonna be back in the next video to talk to you about black and white. And that's really important because A, I'm a huge black and white uh, fan and shoot a lot of black and white. And B, one of the big things about this printer is they Canon have improved the matte black ink delivery. And what that means is on matte papers especially, which is what I primarily use, um, the matte black is delivered in a richer, fuller, more contrasty sort of way. So sometimes when you guys might have been using uh, matte papers in the past, you'll find that they're a little bit wishy-washy on the black. Sometimes you can feel it's not as punchy as you might like. And that's something that Canon uh, claimed to have really improved on this Pro 300. So I'm gonna put a couple of test images through on the video with you guys of a really quite a contrasty image and a softer black and white image as well. And we'll check them out and see what we make of it. But for now, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Photospeed channel for more useful uh, printing tips and tricks videos. And from myself, Sam Gregory, I shall see you next time.